Welcome to Sethcraft. This is my Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser. I have it out here in my workshop, which is detached from my house. I do have a heater out here. However, with the hurricane we just went through, we've been without power for about 15 days, and I want to make sure that this laser is winterized. I will still be able to use it whenever it's been winterized, especially if I get my heat back on in this building. Uh, but I don't want the CO2 tube to freeze and break and cause all kinds of issues. So, Thunder Laser has approved the antifreeze. It is the basic RV pink antifreeze that you can buy at most any store. These are about four or five dollars, not much. So I've got two gallons of this and I'm going to drain out my chiller and then put this antifreeze in there. So let's go ahead and walk through those steps real quick to winterize the Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser. I keep the chiller for my laser over here. I need to pull this out from where it is and drain the distilled water that's currently up in here. And so let me get this pulled out and drain that. Now the chiller does hold approximately two gallons. Let's see how long that tube is back right there. My working space is very cramped and the drain plug is on the back side of the chiller, which means I'm going to pick this up on a couple of blocks and use a small container to catch the water as it comes out back here. All right, hopefully this does not get too messy. Now that I have all of the distilled water removed from the chiller, I'm going to be putting the pink RV antifreeze into the chiller. I don't have a funnel, sadly, so I'm going to pour into my little measuring cup here and just put this into the fill hole right here until I have this all the way filled up. I have the antifreeze filled up to the fill line on the back of the chiller, which I can show you here if I spin this a little bit. I'm not going to push the chiller back into position yet because whenever I drained the distilled water, some of the line set in the back of the laser also drained as well. So I need to turn the laser on and allow the chiller to cycle some water, or in this case antifreeze, through the laser, and then we will recheck and refill to make sure this is topped off as need be. Now from what I can see, all of the bubbles have left, but what I can do is actually squeeze the tube down here just a little bit and it will push out any air bubbles that may be in the line. So just one, two, and three, and that will uh, push out anything. Actually, I'm seeing just a couple right over there that are now leaving. So yeah, make sure you do that. Just squeeze the tube a little bit. It's the one right down in here, and that will clear the bubbles out of your tube. All right, let's go back over here and check to see what the level is. Now that the fluid has been pumped into the tube, you can see, let's see if it'll show up here. There we go. You can see how the fluid is now down. So we've got to add it back up here to the full line. I'm in the mountains of North Carolina and we have freezing from October until March. And so I will be running my laser with the antifreeze in those months. And then afterward, I will drain back out and put the distilled water back in. Now, if you don't want to put antifreeze into your laser, you can use antifrogen and add that to your distilled water. And it should allow you to prevent freezing as well. Um, it seemed as though Thunder Laser prefers the antifreeze. And so that's what I went with here in my laser. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.